So in this video we're going to look at doing a Spearman correlation using R. We're going to be using the example data from chapter 11 which has the blood pressure in people's eyes and blood and you can read more about that in chapter 11. And we're going to be using code that Richard provided in the help sheet which is downloadable from the online resource centre. Here's a copy. This first section has guidance on how to prepare a data file yourself. Uh, this is uh, using Excel, we've got three columns, the idea, the individual, their blood pressure, their eye, the pressure in their eye and the pressure in the blood. And these eye and blood are the two variables that we're going to be correlated, the ones in this column and this column. You can either use this guidance to prepare a data file yourself or you can download a pre-prepared data file from the online resource center. So once you've done that or made your file, you're ready to get on with analysis. So you need R, so bring R up, open R and arrange it how you like. I like it with my R console on the right and my R editor on the left and all nice and clear. Uh, what we need at this point then is the code so we go to the help file Let's get the highlight the code and the associated notes. Codes in blue and associated notes are in green. I'm right clicking copying. You could go to edit and copy. Anyway so then back to R Just a bit of housekeeping, put the extra space between the two bits of code, just make sure all the notes are on a single line. Right, now we need to change this so it's specific to our example, to change the styles for text that's relevant to us. I'm going to call the object in which I'm going to put the data eyes. It's your choice what you call it. And let's just do that, run that code first of all, highlight it. Control R, find the data, which I've put on my desktop. Down. Here we go. And there it's got the uh, column labels, blah, blah, blah. And then we can put those in here. The two variables that we want to correlate are I and blood, spelling them exactly the same as they are on the right hand column, our right hand side in the console window. Uh, then we highlight everything and do control R and there we have our, um, our output. If we look at our help sheet we get the interpretation of that, we get the garantation of that, so that's our p-value here and our statistic and uh, the effects, which is also an effect size in this case, here. Great, that's it, you've done. done a. Uh, Pearson correlation using R.